There are different ways to recover our device if we've been locked out with a screen lock or because we've forgotten our Gmail account. In this video tutorial we'll explain step by step how to recover it. So what do we have to do? Well, I always say this in these videos. I always recommend watching tutorials step by step without skipping ahead so that you can don't miss any details and be able to find a solution and recover your disposition. As we can see here, our device had a screen lock. And what we did was format it. When we formatted it, it ended up with the account also with the same block it had previously. We're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network before we start the process of recovery. Let's click here. Now we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We're going to connect and now we're going to give our device a full tour. This is so you can see that our phone is still locked. With that screen lock, it also finally has a Gmail account. We also want to mention that in the video description and in the first pin comment has other completely different methods, both because PC the method. No PC required for those who want to try other methods. Additional comments can be added to that description or to the first pinned comment. We also want to let you know that YouTube has been enabled for us. The members community session so they can join. So they can subscribe to that community and become part of it. What would be the benefit of that YouTube member community? The benefit would be that you guys are going to see our video. They will also be there in advance. They will also be there, A. Eh? Those comments that we or you post in that community. We will be responding to all those comments and also, we're going to bring exclusive methods just for that community. We will also be creating some courses for those who want to. They can also participate directly from that. Community as we can see our device still has. The same blockade we had mentioned. Here we're going to click where it says, do not copy. We select where it says, do not copy here, which would take us here. Directly where that screen lock appears that we. It says we have a pin here which is the same as the Google account. Now we see a pin lock in Google account. In some cases, when we always forget these pins or this. Even with these screen locks, we always have an alternative. For those who don't want to watch the full video tutorial, you can. Doing this here tells us to create this. Add our Gmail, we add. We click on our email address next and we can add what we want. That's the password. That would give us access to our device without needing. From watching the video tutorial. This would already be one of the options we can do. Another option we can do is when. When we create a Google account, it always asks us for a phone number. A phone number. With the phone number, we can also recover our device simply by entering the phone number and from. They would then send us a recovery code for our device. Would send us a recovery code. That said, what we can also do is this. Now that we have the phone number, we can recover it. But let's say none of these cases apply to you. You don't know any email addresses, any phone numbers. Okay then I recommend you watch the video tutorial step by step until the end. Also, as we've told you since the beginning of the video, in the video description and the first pinned comment have another complete method. Mind without a PC and with a PC. In this video tutorial we are going to use a PC. We're going to use a recovery program. Uh, you know that before. I always recommend that before you run the program. We always recommend temporarily disabling your antivirus. This is so it doesn't block you when you run the program. 
because if you don't disable it, the antivirus will detect it as a virus and won't let you execute. That said, don't worry because I'm going to tell you how to disable the antivirus. How are you going to install the drivers? How are you going to run the program? Where will you be able to download the program? I'm going to explain all of that to you step by step so that you can do it all yourself. And what would the recommendation be? Subscribe to our channel, share our video, activate the bell and, well, give, and if you feel like it, you can give us money for a copy. What we're going to do is go to what is here our antivirus. Let's double click on our antivirus. Now, on the top left side, here you will be able to find this. The shield that appears here that says protection against viruses and threats. Click here, then we'll scroll down here, and you'll find this option. We're going to click on, manage settings, and we need to have. Once the first option is disabled, we disable it again after we disable it. We can go now, we can leave now, the most important part comes now, let's go. To find our tool, let's find the tool. You will be able to find the tool directly from here. From the browser, they will type exactly as it appears here. We also have direct access in the first comment. In the first comment we will leave a direct link to our official page. They will write exactly as it appears here. Here they will select this option that says Davidsel. They will write it exactly as it says here. They type Davis into Google. I'll spell it out for you. D-I-V. I saw in the page will appear here that Davidel can tell you. It says Android DTV. Don't worry, it's the same one. You'll click on it later. It would take you to this section. Being here in this section you will. To scroll down to the last option. Here you will find this entry that says, IBS apps. IBSL apps while you're here. In this section you will be scrolling down. You'll be able to find, as you scroll down here, you will be able to find out what the tool is. I'll explain to you which tool we're going to download here. This is the tool we're going to download. Here it is. Here you'll also be able to find the program password. You'll be able to find what you need. You'll be able to find the drivers. You will be able to find the drivers. Once we've done that, then you'll run the tool. When you remove the tool, it has a password. We left the password directly from wherever. They have downloaded the program. Now we are going to run it as administrator. We're going to say yes here. This option will appear. We're going to click next, next. Here we'll see the option to finish. Here it will create a shortcut for you. As you can see here this shortcut appears. But when I fully execute it, the same tool will open automatically. In some cases, it often happens that the program is blocked by our antivirus. If it blocks the program, then disable the antivirus again. After you deactivate it again, run the program again here. This is the one. Well, here's the tool. Here you'll also be able to find. If you haven't installed the drivers, you'll be able to find them and install them accordingly. The processor will be installed here, and we will also be able to find this driver here. This is a very good driver. I highly recommend you have it installed. They install it, they open it. And then it will come out like this, as it appears here. It's going to come up here. What's this for? Here we will check if the drivers have been installed correctly. Here you're going to click here where it says, removing drivers here will show you all the drivers that are installed. Mediate, Unisoft, Qualcomm will appear here. How can I tell if I don't have it installed? So you're going to go with the first option, and when you complete the process, when you install it, when you do the process, your device recovery instructions will appear here. But you have to select it quickly before it disappears and click install. We'll explain it to you later. We're going to go here to our top. 
which says medium. Here we will find the processors, but here we will select our model. Let's go down here. Here we're going to select the model of. What is this? Any of these devices will appear here. I'm going to select my model. Here it is. There are two of these models. I'm going to select this one. Don't worry if it says LX2. It also works for. LX3 is no longer like this one that has the X1 set aside here. X2. X3 here we only get X2 but X3 also works as mentioned. So what we're going to do is click here. We're going to select here. B1 we select B1 here we select services and here we're going to click here where it says. If FRP is also available, we have two options. We have the first one here, we have the second one. But I always recommend this one, which would also give us that same access. What are we going to do here? We're going to turn off the device. We're going to turn it off. Then once it's completely off, we're going to wait 10 seconds. Now we can click here where it says reset FRP. We'll be keeping an eye on this. As we said, when you connect the device, the driver will appear here. If you don't have it installed, it won't appear. If you do have it installed, it won't appear. If it appears, select it and click on quick install. We're not going to press any buttons now. Let's connect the USB cable to the device. Let's wait for it to be recognized. That he recognizes it here and goes through the entire recovery process. The FRP reset successful option didn't appear here. It showed up in green. Now you'll wait for the device to restart on its own or show it as loading. You're going to wait here. Our phone has restarted. What we're going to do now is wait for it to restart. Completely in order to explain how to configure it. When we do this recovery of these. Our phones always end up with some errors in our devices. It's normal for errors to remain on our phones. How do we correct these errors? I'll explain what you're going to do. I'll explain at the end of the video so you can correct all these mistakes. We also have it in the video description. And in the first pinned comment we have other methods for that. You can fix and recover your device this way. It's a very easy and simple recovery if you follow the steps. We explain everything to you. We lay everything out on the table. All you have to do is follow our instructions exactly. Now we're going to click here. We're going to finish configuring it. We click next. We click next. We click here to skip. We can also configure it quickly here. To disconnect the Wi-Fi network, click next. We'll click next here. Well, the Wi-Fi network has been enabled again. Never mind, we'll finish it then, we'll give it more. We click accept, we click next, we click skip, we say no. Here we tell it to continue. Here we enable it, here we click on finish. I'm going to select this one, finish, OK here. This doesn't matter, as I mentioned before. What error remains on our device? Let's go to settings, type reset, reset, reset our phone. When our phone has completely reset, we will do the same. With the configuration we've made there, we'll be able to add our screen lock, our Google account and it would be completely error free.